Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video so again we've got news on the next battlefield game and you guys probably know that battlefield 6 is being play tested every single day we've heard this from vince Sampella, the head of response entertainment but now tom henderson from insider gaming has some news for us on the subject well as the name says it all insider gaming is a place where leakers actually reach out to them uh, like leakers from the inside of studios and then nine out of ten times tom henderson's leaks are just legit so this coming from his mouth is probably just solid facts so with that in mind tom actually says that battlefield 6 is undergoing the franchise's biggest play tests ever to prevent another disastrous launch so you guys probably know what disastrous launch means right now it means battlefield 5 and more importantly battlefield 2042 which was just hilarious on launch and it probably marks the lowest point the battlefield has ever got to and there's also an article about this which has a specific important part that we are going to read uh the rest is just a uh, normality and we're not going to waste time on that it goes like this sources say that playtests with external players are happening much more frequently than in past installments and the amount of data and feedback collected is the most the franchise has seen in its history. From small feedback sessions to large-scale player tests, Battlefield is now taking the much-needed player-first approach. It's an approach that we see continued to be played out coming to the start of the year too, as it's understood that EA and its studios have been eyeing up the return of the Battlefield Community Test Environment or Battlefield CTE, but to what scale that's incorporated at this time is unclear. All in all, Battlefield seems to be trying to mend the mistakes it's made and with a return to a modern military shooter with destruction four classes and 64 player battles ea could have a win on its hands that being said we're still a year-ish from release and things can change but so far at least battlefield could be back so in my opinion it is just a bit early to consider battlefield back because ea and dice have lost the trust of the community that's for sure but if you've been around battlefield in the past five years you'd know that battlefield 5 was just bad at launch and some of the issues still exist 2042 however was even worse this game lost 75 percent of its player base in the first two weeks after release which is just insane to think of just think about it 75 percent of your player base stops playing after two weeks and that is the exact meaning of a disastrous launch i've said this many times and i'll say it again battlefield 6 or whatever the name for the next battlefield game is going to be will be the final stand for the franchise it will be if they mess this up there's no turning back from it it's just a break point they need to deliver something so solid and so mature that enables them to regain the trust that's already lost that's the mission and apparently ea now understands how crucial it is for them to deliver a solid battlefield game i mean two bad launches battlefield 2042 empty servers running out of content all the drama that we've been through in the past couple of years and a fan base that has lost so much trust to the point where they are actually boycotting the pre-orders just to not get disappointed one more time all of that says that these people need to deliver and it appears that they know that literally there's no room for mistakes and both ea and dice know this and testing the game that often probably shows how committed they are this time but it also shows how afraid they are like literally these guys are afraid and rightfully so they should be and it's a good sign it really is when they are so afraid that they are literally testing the game every single day a year before release that shows something you know that fear can actually be a weapon Th that fear can be used in a way that they polish the game so good that it at least has a decent launch we don't want anything like perfect because it's literally impossible for a game that big and in such a scale in multiplayer launching a game without literally any problem is impossible but they can't actually make something decent think of something like battlefield 1's launch it was decent it was great it was nowhere near anything like battlefield 5 let alone 2042 so something along those lines will be perfect for battlefield but again bringing back cte testing the game every single day is great i remember shroud saying that him and a lot of other content creators and streamers were hired some of them even paid by dice and ea to test 2042 and give them feedback and they actually did over a hundred streamers and content creators were hired to do this and as this is what shroud said he said nothing was taken into consideration none of our feedback nothing like ea hired these people paid over a hundred people to test the game give feedback and let them build up upon that and they just didn't they didn't listen to anything I, I, of course that's what shroud says my opinion that's impossible to not listen to a single word but it was a wasted potential definitely 
I hope that's not the case for this Battlefield game. I hope EA understands that they need to be relying on people who actually know Battlefield. Because in my opinion, someone like Shroud does not really know Battlefield that much. To be honest, he called himself a mastermind. I don't really think that's what he is, at least in, in Battlefield, that's not what he is. But EA needs to understand who they should be hiring. People that they should be hiring for testing th this game need to be people who are actually familiar with Battlefield and with the core values of Battlefield at least like eight years ago, ten years ago. Those are the kind of people that we need to test this game and give solid feedback. Remember, a part of what created 2042 was the feedback given by those people and it made a game that looked more like Call of Duty than Battlefield. So this is very important. They need to know who are they trying to uh, get feedback from. That's what really matters in my opinion. On the other hand, I really believe that they need to be uh, gathering people from outside the studios because there are four studios now working on the game. If they are just testing the game inside, uh, many of these people might not actually be able to see what's wrong because that's what they've created. It's really hard for them to spot what's wrong, but people coming from outside, not knowing what's waiting for them, might as well be very much more impactful on the process of developing this game. So that's also something to keep in mind. But the fact that this game is being tested every single day uh, for over a year now, and there's also one year ahead of it, is really promising, to say the least. That means almost two years of polishing a game to be released. And if these guys are able to even mess this up, then it's going to be just hilarious. But I don't think that's the case. Like, running playtests for that long can't just go wrong. At least from experience, that's not something likely to happen. But we will have to wait and see. Until then, you guys go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the news. Let me know about the CTE and the playtests. What do you think comes out of this next Battlefield game? Do you think it's going to be a redemption for the franchise? Or do you think it's going to be just another lame release from EA and DICE? Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all guys for watching. If you haven't done already, do consider subscribing to the channel. There will be a lot more on Battlefield coming your way in the future year. Definitely 2025 is going to be a Battlefield year. The new Battlefield is coming out. News will be all over the place and I'll be here to cover them all. So thanks for watching and until next time, stay cool.